the narrative of well so if you know what a narrative is when it comes to story writing then i don't have to really explain it uh i can put the thing up there uh, or in the little box below but the narrative is something that i've always been interested in because i've been interested in fantasy since i've been interested in reading in fact one of my turns on to well just reading like over three pages of anything has been fantasy it started with fantasy then it moved to science fiction then it became science so i i now have a fascination in science but it, you kind of see that window and how it grows and changes with you uh, but oftentimes, not not even oftentimes, uh, a lot of times, what people have started doing is asking, why should we represent ourselves if we're all American? Or what, what's the point of fighting for a representation when you're black? And there are some people who are even want to take it a step further and make it uncomfortable if you try to fight for representation, especially when the icon that you select is not one that they find favorable for their agenda. And the reason why it's important is because it was supposed to be highlighted at the end of the day is diversity. You see, rather than accept that black people are people, uh, oftentimes we either fit into the Mark Henry or the <laughs> or the Uncle Toms. And that's that's the only way that America wants to accept us. Even though we're the third <laughs> You know, that's still up for debate. The third race to be here. We're technically still American. We're, st we're all, as long as we're born here, U.S. citizens. And yet we still have to fight for our humanity because we're non white. And that whole division of color thing is, it's really just as a way to kind of press people who are darker. You know, it, that's why the whole, you know, white power thing falls flat because it, it's, it's them isolating not their races when they came over to America, but their colorism that they try to highlight over here. And they oppress anyone who's darker who doesn't, well, have the same narrative as them or they can't use their struggle. So that happens. But back to the case, the narrative oftentimes when it comes to fiction, nonfiction, and just American stories in general is always and how and has always been <laughs> well just pro either pro-white as a as a way to just kind of sum it up pro-white or just anti-black and you, there are shades of gray in between all the way around and i'm i'm not gonna say i'm cool with the shades of gray or i'm comfortable but there's a nuance with the shades of gray because there are people who truly don't know and what this channel is here to do is to have a healthy conversation about well the black narrative within these cultures within these different things that kind of blend it together not to a nauseating sense but to a degree where again it's just to have a conversation now this is a black geek nerd channel and that's the purpose i want to talk about uh geek nerd stuff but i'm gonna bring the black into it because something else that i've noticed is whenever we talk about being black and certain things like that it, it's a certain we we have to be coy with it and anyone else can be strong and loud in their heritage and don't get me wrong, there was a breaking point when we came over to America with our heritage. Uh, as, as for whether we came from Haiti, whether we came from Africa, whether we came from Egypt, uh, whether we came from uh, other places around the globe, you know, just being dark. But, uh, and I'm, I'm saying that because, again, they, they, they see colorism first. That's one of the first things they see. They see colorism first. There is a break in that. However, that's not what we're limited to. And the only time they want us to kind of talk about being outside our limitations is again when it benefits them. And that's why representation is important. It's very, very important because we're more we're much, much more than even what they kind of perceive us as. You know, we go beyond just the two narratives that they can come up with or just being uh, hardened by our environment and having to be, overcome it. Because in reality, that that kind of stops us from moving forward. What do you do? What is the next step? But oftentimes, they don't see black people past that. And anytime we try to like represent ourselves in a healthy light and healthy manner, it's always seen as, uh, well, why, why do you have to do that? Just use our narrative, but paint it, but paint your color over it. And it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that in the slightest, especially when it comes to reading, writing, and understanding. And it especially doesn't come like that 
when, when it comes down to history. Because while we are American, how we became American versus how they became American is completely different. When you go back in history, a lot of people, how they kind of entered into becoming American, it's not just you, you were born here. There was an acceptance thing. If you were born here, but your origin was of a different race or you had a visa or something like that, people looked at you different. They still look at you different. Again, this channel at the end of the day is to have a healthy conversation about that. And it's a black ignorant channel, but the main highlight is going to be the gristle. And it's important that I talk about these things because and it's came up from multiple uh, creators who are black that one of the bigger issues in the community, in a black community, yes, even though it's a loose format, it's still a community. Um, one of the bigger issues is that we are still fighting for our, for our identity, not just what we're perceived as, but what we hold dear to us. Because when we when we took uh, basically, for example, Christianity, now their version of Christianity that they made, they've kind of made it their own version. And we did the same thing. But that's not true to Christianity and that's not true to what the religion is. But look at what we did. All we did was paint Jesus black. They paint him white, we paint him black. How are we any better? That's not finding the truth. That's not being active. And, and in a sense, it, it's seen as lazy. But just to give you, that's just to give you a kind of idea of when it comes down to narratives and certain things of that nature, why it's important. Now, back to it again. I have always been interested in narratives because I've been interested in reading, learning, and my gateway into learning and knowledge absorption and learning how to learn was fantasy. Uh, it, it's a lot of people who, who are geeks and nerds. It started with fantasy. So to pay homage to that, I'm going to use this channel and kind of mix the two, but not, not to a nauseating degree, like a homogeneous mixture. And I'm going to talk about problems within the black community while also talking about geek nerd stuff. Sometimes I mix it, sometimes I won't. But the stuff that's going to be straight up about the black community uh, with very little uh, fantasy geek nerd stuff mixed in, it's going to be called The Gristle. And I'm going to talk more on that later because rendering is a monster. Right now, I actually do not have a powerful computer and my limit is 10 minutes. This has been Oller with Lunar Dew. Oh, I forgot. Uh, so the channel name is Lunar Dew and the character or persona that I'm using is Oller. When I'm online, that's what I'm doing. And the setting is kind of like I'm reviewing and looking at all this while I'm in a coffee shop. And well, just more on that later.